Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for Good Morning ILA. We're really glad to have you here. Today we have uh, two guests who are here to talk to us about conference planning and our upcoming conference. So I'm Amanda Vasquez. I'm the uh, current chair of the Communication Publications Committee, uh, whatever the title of that committee is called, that organizes Good Morning ILA. Um, we're really happy to have you here. Um, and our two guests today are Aaron Rygren and Maggie Halterman Dess, who um, I will just start off by asking them some questions. Um, and then there's open time for all of you to ask questions or to chat about conference as well. So um, we'll kind of maybe we'll start with Aaron because Aaron's on my left side on the screen <laughs> and then go with Maggie. So if you could introduce yourself, talk about where you work and uh, like how you're involved in ILA. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Erin Ragren. I'm the assistant director at the Cherokee Public Library, which is way off in the boonies of Northwestern Iowa. Um, I am the co-chair of the speakers committee, which is part of the overall conference planning committee. So Maggie's my partner in crime. We're the ones who sort of uh, encourage the, the run for proposals and then sift through them, coordinate the committee that helps select the sections that you guys are all super excited to go to. Okay, and I'm Maggie Halterman Dess. I am the library annex coordinator at the University of Iowa. So I oversee our offsite storage facility um, on the edge of town. And I, like Erin said, I am the other co chair on the speakers committee um, for ILA. And I'm also um, on the Iowa ACRL uh, board and um, part of the committee on diversity and inclusion for ILA. And as you can see, I am finishing up um, probably what is technically my third mug of tea for the morning. Um, and it's Earl Grey today, my fave. That was my next question. So you've got such a nice, like pretty mug. Erin, do you have a, a drink with you this morning? I do. Um, I switch back and forth when it's hot. I, I drink these s'mores frappes, which is probably more like dessert than anything for breakfast. Um, but they're delicious. And then when it gets cold, I drink black tea in my favorite Hocus Pocus mug because I'm actually from Salem, Massachusetts. So I got to, you know, jam with my hometown. Represent. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, I just have a, a, like a travel mug of coffee this morning. Um, yeah, I now live with someone who drinks lots and lots of coffee. And so there's more coffee around and someone else making it. So I'm a lot more likely to drink it in the mornings <laughs> and not eat up a bunch of work time making my own coffee here. Um, so I know Erin, you give like a really brief intro to the committee work that you do, but if you wanna talk about, you know, the value of conference planning uh, in the association, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, everybody that goes to conference, they go for professional development. They wanna, they wanna attend these sessions that are interesting to them, but also useful. Uh, we are, a really fortunate organization that we have tons of talented people that want to share their experiences with the rest of us. Unfortunately, that means that it requires a lot of coordination. So the, the planning committee is actually broken up into several different groups. You've got the local arrangements people. They're the ones who sort of coordinate things like the reception and sponsors for um, door prizes, things like that. We've got uh, the vendors, they're really fantastic. Everybody loves to visit that exhibition hall. And without those people, that would just probably not be as much fun. Speakers committee, uh, we, like I mentioned, we sift through the proposals. We put forward that call for proposals, getting people to submit what they would like to talk about at ILA. Then Maggie and I, we coordinate getting together another little committee we're kind of like one of those russian dolls you know where you got the little pieces all inside the big pieces all these little moving parts are what help make conference come together and work uh, as a group we work on uh, selecting your keynote speakers everybody sort of coordinates we review the information the feedback that we get to try to make each new conference better than the one before and implement what people are looking for thanks Aaron. Yeah. Maggie, do you have anything to add to that? Um, I guess we, we also kind of scope out the conference site and think about 
where things are going to be. We also did some uh, guessing about how, who, what the attendance levels might be, who to put in what room, um, all that kind of thing. Yep. That seems very high stakes and like maybe like more stressful than the actual selecting of sessions to me. Because <laughs> with session where you think that, you know, everybody might go to and then you get a curveball. So it's kind of you're you're winging it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I ended up color coding to try to buy themes. So it's like can we try to avoid scheduling two things that are similar enough that people might want to attend both at the same time. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, Maggie, do you want to tell us why you joined this committee? Um, sure. So previously, the Iowa ACRL chapter representative, um, Erica Knapp, uh, was on this committee last year and she left the state. So I stepped in to uh, take on this role and I've enjoyed it a lot. I always get a lot out of conferences, even though I my role is a little unusual. It doesn't really fit in academic or public libraries main kind of wheelhouse. Um, but I do try to keep on top of things so I kind of know where trends are. Um, and I know I've gotten a lot out of just meeting people and networking at the conferences um, and sometimes like talking to vendors and stuff. So um, it's been really interesting to put it together on the back end, which is kind of where I prefer to be anyway, kind of behind the scenes, um, arranging things. Great. Um, so we, I usually have a question where I ask like, talk about what you're working on conference um, and a call to action, which is probably go to conference. Uh, if you aren't already scheduled to attend 20 days, ooh, the countdown is really on. Is it really only 20 days from now? Oh my God. Yes, um, I pulled up the I pulled up the countdown. 20 days, four hours, 48 minutes, and 50 some seconds. It's getting close. There was like another email what last night or this morning about something. Hotel off was yesterday. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But radon sales are through the 26th, I believe. Ooh, do we have a link to the ray gun information that we can I can pull that up. Yes, yes. And you have to pick up on site, but you can have somebody else pick up for you. Um, yep. So if you have a colleague yeah. going and you would still like to get that, and we're getting, and ILA is getting a very good cut of the sales. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, so I guess maybe I will just ask instead of, what my usual is. Um, are there any sessions that you're hoping have a really good showing or that you're exceptionally looking forward to attending? Ooh, we have a really, really wide range of subjects this year. We try to aim for, you know, everybody's interests. Um, we've got some really great ones for, for programming. I'm a cataloger. So, you know, most people, they, they don't go and talk about just cataloging all day. So I get to kind of dabble in other sessions. There's some about um, youth programming that I'm super excited to bring back to my library. Um, the keynote speakers, I'm really looking forward to. I think we've got a great lineup this year. I'm super excited to see that Ty Rushing is going to be there. I don't know. He's like, I mean, we're not like hangout friends and maybe I'm like over inflating how how much of friends we are but like I feel like we're friends uh, from some like history that we have in places where we've been together and I don't know maybe he's a huggy guy but like he gives me a hug when he I'm just like I was like oh my god it's Ty. that's so exciting so I'm super excited for Ty I know the other conference speakers are going to be like amazing but he's the one that I like to know personally um so I was super excited Maggie what do you think um yeah there's a lot of uh tie stands uh, on on the um, yeah, right. committee. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking forward to some of the, we, we tried to fit in the theme of the conference to get a whole bunch of things thinking about accessibility, both in terms of space and also web and other things you can do to uh, improve and comply with um, accessibility and, um, you know, uh, things like that. Um, I know the Iowa City, um, uh, for, is it Foreign Relations Committee, has a um, session on 
um, welcoming refugees into the city based on some work they did with the public library. And that looks really, really interesting. My colleague, Brett Cloyd, is one of the presenters there. Yeah, I, I just pulled up. Oh, I guess there's maybe not a way to do a direct link to this. I was going to see if that worked because that sounds like a really interesting session. I'm also really, really excited that uh, the Llama subdivision they're going to have this really cool thing going on. I don't know if they've revealed it yet, but I'm excited for the llamas. Yes, I'm also super excited. Yeah, we have some some llama folks here if they want yes. to share the beats. <laughs> I am so excited for the llamas. Awesome, Erin. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jennifer Jorgebeck from the North Liberty Library. And yes, come visit with our llamas. Um, it's going to be Thursday night at 6 30. Um, uh, a couple of, I hope she brings Earl because he's my favorite. Um, so some llamas and alpacas will be coming to the, to the grass outside the library. Um, we're like 15 minutes north of the conference. Um, we'll have our meeting rooms open up beforehand. The sessions end at five. So uh, come on up. Um, we've got a link actually on the calendar for I, the ILA sessions. Um, so you can take a look um, at that. There is a ride sharing form. So if you want to give rides or need a ride, you can enter that information in there. Um, we also just uh, put up a list of restaurants in North Liberty um, that you can eat at before or after and put a little plug in there if you've already looked at it. Yesterday, I just added the Copper Boar restaurant, which Nancy Medema's son just opened. And I didn't even know about it. So they just opened up last week in North Liberty. So I, I added that to the list. But um, yeah, it's a free event. You can come and network with other conference attendees, um, learn about the llamas. Um, we'll give tours of the library if you want. You can come into the meeting room and, and chat with each other. So yeah, let me know if you have questions, but we hope you can join us. Thank you. Can I just say it's like, it just warms my heart that you have like a favorite of the llamas and the alpacas, like that you've had enough experience with these llamas and alpacas to have like a strong enough preference. That's just great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably too much information, but they came last year to the library for a program um, and they're in Swisher, which is like 15 minutes north of us. And so it's Prairie Patch Farm. Um, you can go to their website and you can sign up to go hike take the llamas on a hike. So you hike them around their farm and walk them around. So I signed my family up. And so I have three boys who are, you know, kind of whatever mom. Uh, so we started out the, the hike like that, but pretty quick they warmed up and they loved it. And we still talk about it. So yeah, Earl was who I got to walk around. So he's my favorite. I have a 15 year old and three boys between the ages of almost 10 and almost 12 and now and we are not terribly far away so now I'm like hmm this might go on the big long list of ways to entertain the children that sounds so cool thank you for sharing all this valuable information with us Jennifer <laughs> sorry I get a little excited <laughs> about them I think but... for good reason <laughs> um anyway I will get back to you other conferency things. Does anyone have any questions for Aaron and Maggie about speakers or serving on the committee or conference in general that uh, they could help answer potentially? Or are we all conference pros? We're just looking forward to counting down the 20 days until conference. Well, I don't see any questions. So I'm going to say thank you so much, Maggie and Aaron, for being here, for talking to us about uh, the work that you have done to make our annual conference great. Um, I hope to see everyone in Coralville, right? Uh, technically, uh, uh, in 20 days. And um, yeah, so thank you so much and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.